Hi again, everyone. Uh, spent a long weekend working on my sharp mill. Got uh, pretty much everything working at this point. Uh, it's the Elo touchscreen. Works really, really well. Surprisingly well. Even more so than I was hoping for. So, very pleased with that. Uh, got all the servos finally running. I uh, did the tuning on them. At least, at least they're roughly tuned. I'll probably dial them in a little more shortly. Uh, so I'll bring up the bring up the MPG here. So now I can jog. And it got roughly 200 inches a minute. It's uh, like 190 is about the maximum speed on the motors. So. so it's nice and smooth. Working good so far. And then it also, it also has a, uh, a power knee lift, which is kind of cool. beats the heck out of cranking and cranking and cranking. So that's the uh, that's the machine so far. I got I'll show you the show you the cabinet. So the yellow uh, yellow boxes are the servo drives. The two VFDs since I'm, I only have single phase here in the shop and I didn't want to have an extra converter. I wired up uh, the smaller VFD for the knee lift and the coolant pump, which are three phase. Uh, it's a large DC power supply in the bottom left. That's for the servo drives. There's a braking unit underneath the smaller DC power supply. Main contactors and fuses. These two contactors separate the uh, knee lift and the coolant pump, so I can use the same VFD for that. Uh, top right is the Ethernet Smooth Stepper, and it's a CM106 breakout board, which is about the, about the slickest thing I could find for the Smooth Stepper. Puts it all all together on one board with great uh, terminal, you know, plugs with terminals, so they're they're really cool. This is the Mini ITX computer. Keeps the keeps me from having a PC sitting on the floor. I really. I, one of the things I disliked about the lathe build, so I'll probably end up adding one to that when I do the touchscreen conversion on that. So uh, that's the control box for the power draw bar, which I still have to do some work on. These are the buttons for that. So they're wired up, they're working. When I put air on it, it does work, but not well. I think the uh, the power power unit up there needs a little bit of work, so I'll get that tuned in soon. Uh, and here, the uh, the homing feature is really cool. I didn't build this in when I did the lathe, but I was very very pleased with it. You hit zero all, and it'll uh, it'll home all the axes one at a time. So there's the X. So there, they are all homed. Unfortunately, I don't like where the home positions are. It really kind of cuts off my uh, available space over here. So I might move them to the other and other extremes of the travel. Then when I park it at the end of the day, it'll be uh, more out of the way. So that's the build so far. Probably the next video will be uh, when I'm making chips. So. Thanks for watching.